double-sided triangle, crypty keeper. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. Bah, what do fellows know about love, anyway? Well, hello there, boys and girls. Just getting in the mood for tonight's Tory tale. A story of love and lurid lust in the dust. Ah, to arouse the sickies amongst you. Some heavy breathing a tale. A cool, a tale. Call Mary Jo, Mary Jo, Mary Jo, where's my coffee? Sorry, Miss Yates. I must have overslept. I told you, I told you. I want my coffee when I wake up in the morning. Don't lie to me, you little bitch, you clumsy little fool. Here, see if you can do anything right. Get me my eggs. Go on. Remember, don't break any, or you'll break you. Shoo. Milk the cow. Miss Yates wants her eggs. I said milk the cow. What do you not want? I just want to talk, Mary Jo. That's all. What about, about what? Yo, you know things. Look, Mr. Yates, never done anything wrong by you. You've got no cause to bother me. Aha, uh-huh, no, bitch. Oh, no, Mr. Yates. I'm going to tell you, your wife, let me be, let me be. You'll do, you'll do. I'm, I'm going to call the police, tell them about how I picked you up running that night. I said, stop and go, when the owner was yelling about how he got robbed. Please call the police. Call the police. I want to be anywhere but here. Oh, no. Once you come this far, little girl, you don't get to leave. Not ever. Ah, Mr. Yates. Miss Yates. Come on, you stupid bitch. Come on, you stupid bitch. Mary Jo. Miss Yates. Miss Yates. Mary Jo. Is that you? Aha, Miss Yates. Mary Jo, Mary Jo, Mary, Mary Mates. Mary Jo, where are you, Miss Jates? Mary Jo, where are you, Miss Jates? Mary Jo, Mary Jo, Mary Jo, Mary Jo, George. Have you seen Mary Jo around? No. You didn't hear a scream, scream? No, we didn't. I didn't hear a scream. What's all them, what's, what's all that about over your front? The milk of the cow. I guess I spilt some. George. You don't milk. You don't. You don't milk the cow. Mary Jo does. I'm sorry, Teresa. I didn't mean to do it. Do what? Uh, how many times have I got to tell you? You didn't kill her. Didn't. Didn't. You don't kill. Help, George. You beat them. But you don't kill them. I know it. You beat the milk. Milk, Louisa. There's always some milk. Is all not? Isn't always any more help? Look, blood. Ah, oh, she must be in there. Pick me up. What? You heard me. Pick him up, pick me up, okay. Oh, there she is, alive. Thank God for something. Don't want you listening to anything she says, because she had a blow in the head. Why, what's she going to say? I don't know. Mary Jo, huh, well, there is he. Reader, who? Where's who? My man. You what? My man. What do you do with him? He was out here a second ago. I want him to make love to me, but he wouldn't. Oh, he wouldn't? I told you. Touch, touch. You smell good, Mary Jo. You like it? It's honeysuckle. Fanny outside, I've rubbed it all over my body by a man. You ain't got no man, Mary Jo. Ain't nobody around here for sixty miles except us. Yes, I do. I got me a man, even if he won't touch me. Damn fool. What are you doing, Mr. Rates? I'm just trying to be funny, Mary Jo. Well, I have a friend. You don't do that to me. I'm a good lover. What are you do- two doing in here, talking? Talking about what? Oh, nothing, Louisa. Just talk. I don't... I don't, didn't ask you, George. What were you and Mr. Yates talking about? Well, I tell you, Mr. Yates, not to get friendly with me, because I've already got a friend like that. What do you mean, get friendly with? What did Mr. Yates do? Damn it, Louisa. You know what she's like. You know that sh- what she's like, touched. You're begging about some man she claims she's got. I do, got me a man. You know her? The man of yours? What's he look like? He's real tall. He always wears a hat and suit. He's always smiling at me. He's always so big and strong. Enough of that. Someday he's make me, gonna make love to me. Enough, I said. Now get out of here, there, and set the table. Now get in there, in there, set the table. Well, good, one good thing about this anyway. What? Well, she's crazy, George. Where's a crazy girl going to run? Who's gonna take her in? Nobody, right? We got to her for life, George. Free help that ain't going nowhere. Yeah, free help that ain't going nowhere. Yeah, right. This one's been here forever. 
Then she, maybe. Well, is this, is this, is this what that making him so happy? Well, like you said, it's somebody to take care of us forever. I like the idea, Mary Jo. Chicken pot pie ain't run away. Chicken pot pie, no place to go. Chicken pot pie don't matter anymore, Al. Don't matter anyhow. Got myself a sweetheart. Got myself a sweetheart. Aha, uh-huh. hi, I changed. What do you think? Don't like it? You don't like it? Well, I wore it special just for you. Well, I wore it special just for you. Been watching you out here all day. Makes me feel so lonesome for you. I've seen you watching me too. But now, don't be shy. I don't know that you want me. So, so crazy. Doesn't know the difference between the thing. A thing and a real man. I love you, I love you. No, Mr. Yates, stop. This is it. This is here. Is my man. He's not real, Mary Jo. It's just rag and straw and a pole stuck him around. He can't make love to you. Yes, he can. He will someday. I know he will. You listen to me, you little simpleton. He ain't no, no flesh and blood man. I am, I am, no, Mary Jo. Mary Jo, where have you been? Where have you been? I heard a chitter bothering the chickens. Chitter bothering the ch- chickens. You get him? No, I didn't see him. There's, no, there's your critter, George. Mary Jo, coming back from being her man. So, that was it. Damn old simpleton. Keeping me up all night. You're a fool, George. A stupid old fool. Hi, Mary Jo. You're just in kind of different, aren't you? If he is my fella. Do you think you like it? Ha uh-huh, ha, yeah. Yeah, I hope he's going to love it. I'm sure he's going to love it. I hope so. I have another date with him tonight at midnight. I mean, like me a little bit more dressed up, dressed like this, huh? You ain't going to run away. I've got a sweetheart and I'm going to run away. I've got a sweetheart, like Louisa Knight. George, George, you know what I'd do if you caught your cheating on me, don't you? Don't think you do do to balls. We want to be them to be steers. I ain't cheating on you, Louisa. I know you're not, George. Not now, huh? You're alive. You're really and truly alive. Mary Jo, Mary Jo. What? No, come back. Don't go. Don't go. Come back. Don't leave me. See me. Don't go. Go. No. Where is he? Where is he? Where is that? Where is who's? George. Where's George? Ain't nobody here but me and my man. Oh, my God. You fool, you stupid little fool. That's just a scrow crow. Can you see that? They can't do anything. They're just rags and straw. You're wrong, he's alive. He just about made, he was about, he was just about to make love to me when he showed up. Don't argue me, you little fool. I showed that he made his he straw, huh? No, see straw, nothing but straw, huh? Straw. Ah, see nothing but straw, you fool. You stupid old fool. You stupid old fool. A uh, chicken pot pie, and I don't care. A uh, free at last. Woo woo, chicken pot pie, and I don't care. Chicken pot pie. Crip keeper. That young lady certainly knew how to make a pot point. But what a shame for poor George and Louisa. They thought they had a l- the labour problems all sewed and up. Very, very Joe, for their own. You know the scarecrow. I just mean George was going to reward Mary Joe for all hard work. A big donors, huh? They're definitely not what you call safe sex. Tune in next week, kiddies, for another truly traumatic tale. Ha ha ha!